Hello Capricorn, Narai here. Gonna do a reading for you guys. Hello. I already put on my Destroy Everything cologne. I'm using that instead of Florida water right now. And we're gonna go ahead and do a reading for you guys. This is gonna be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest, as this is not a personal reading. Some of the reading may resonate, some of it may not, some of it may resonate in the future, some of it may just not resonate ever. That is what can happen with tarot, because this is not personal. I see the lovers at the bottom, so we're going to see if this ends up coming out in the reading, okay? I'm working on calling out cards. <laughs> I'm working on calling out cards. So let's see what comes out. Spirit, messages and guidance for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node, please and thank you. First card is justice. There will be justice. I have the Ten of Pentacles. This is about building a legacy, having long-term security. Mm. Does this mean that you guys are not being so stingy with yourselves now? That is a possibility. Mm. Holy cow. Okay. Two of Wands. Let me move these over just a little. The Seven of... Okay. Let's see what else comes out first. This is beautiful. So here's what I have. That there will be justice. There will be justice. We're going to use my little, my little pen. There will be justice for you, Capricorn. Justice will be served. This is an, e this is a balancing of the scales. This is making things equal finally finally equal for you guys something you had gone through something you're deserving of you're getting and maybe somebody didn't treat you properly and they're getting what's coming to them for treating you the way that they actually treated you let me turn this a little bit uh, there we go thank you okay so out of the Ten of Pentacles, this is about building a legacy, having long-term security, retirement, 401k. It just makes me think of an older person making sure they're good and that their family is good. This is a traveling family and this is a family that does things together. The, the Nine of Pentacles is a person that is self-reliant, financially independent. The Ten of Pentacles is that person once they have united with somebody else they both have the ability of putting their funds together and enjoying life enjoying the luxuries of life like family vacations and then here i have you guys spending money not being so tight with your funds um what it actually makes me think is that you guys are kind of getting out of that funk where you're being stingy with yourself 
and you may be ready to actually put yourself out there. You're planning on putting yourself out there with the Two of Wands. This is about planning. Then I have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords upright is normally somebody trying to get away with something. It's letting me see that you're looking out there and you can actually tell when somebody's trying to get away with something. Somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, Capricorn. That's not happening anymore. We have the Page of Wands, which for me is kind of like the kind of like the full card. It's a person that has a zest for life. I feel like you guys want to have fun. A lot of you may feel like you've done enough of being really tight and conservative with yourself or stingy with yourself, however you want to say it. I feel like you're still protecting your energy, but not as much as before because there's not a need to. In the past, you were kind of protecting your energy more than you normally would because you weren't really sure of what to look out for. But now that you're keen on the types of things that people do, the types of behaviors that people have, you're ready to come out of the, out of hiding, I'm gonna say. So that's why you're looking to see what else is out there. You're seeing when people are trying to pull the wool over your eyes. And I feel like you actually may have people that you know personally, not romantically, but personally, that may do these little shady things and you, you realize it. You just don't say anything, you watch, and you move on with your day. So now you're kind of feeling the excitement of life again, I feel, for some of you. And the reason being is because you have gotten some balance there. You have gotten some balance. You are continuing to heal. A lot of you know that you have healing to do and you're, you've are you been working on it and I'm so proud of you guys for doing it. Some of you have come a really long way. Some of you have been in a real bad funk. I know myself as a tarot reader, I'm human. I get into funks too and sometimes my energy can be really low. This is about finding balance. I think a lot of you may have had some low energy lately and with this I feel like This could be coming out of low energy for you guys. But again, with the temperance card, temperance card it's about finding balance, self-healing, but it's also about being patient with yourself. I think it's about being patient with yourself. Uh, some of you are trying to manifest. This is knowing you have all the tools to do that. You are the magician. You are a manifester. You are an alchemist. Now, Capricorns are learning to just be patient. Let the universe do what the universe needs to do and just be patient and be sure that you're ready to receive. Be sure that you're ready to receive. Don't worry about having all the answers. You're not going to have all the answers, Capricorn. That's part of the problem with some Capricorns, myself included. I like knowing all the answers. I like feeling like I have control. This is about letting go of control. See, the page doesn't have the need for control. The page is going with the flow. This is what a lot of us are learning to do, go, go with the flow. And that requires balance. That requires us to do things in moderation because we can get a little beside ourselves and go overboard. Go overboard with the need to know so a lot of us are trying to learn as Capricorns that we don't have to have all the answers all the time. There are going to be things that we don't know. But it's also about knowing that there are going to be <laughs> there are going to be times when we're not going to have all the answers. Um, we're going to have to learn to accept things for what they are and not create a story. This is this is about an illusion too. We're not going to create an illusion and be blinded by an illusion anymore. 
We're not going to allow a person that was trying to get away with something or that may be trying to get away with something in the future give us an illusion anymore. That's one reason why this is right. This is upside down. We're not going to allow ourselves to be in that energy anymore. We are more stable with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands has to do with stability. The Four of Wands has to do with coming together and celebrating. The Four of Wands is a marriage card. And then we have the Two of Cups. How freaking fantastic is that? The Two of Cups, confirmation of love that's coming. A lot of chemistry. Two people responsible for filling their own cup, uniting and becoming the Two of Cups. Finding your person, your other half. This is a mutual attraction. Now for the mutual attraction, I don't know if it's somebody that you think is physically attractive and they think you're physically attractive, but whatever it is, whether that's that intellectual turn on or it's both that and the phys uh, physical attraction, you guys are drawn to one another. I feel like this is somebody that may have been on the same type of journey that you've been on Capricorn and this person so understands exactly all the things that you've been through. And that's what you need. You need someone that understands you, that can relate to you, that can understand why you may feel a certain type of way. Not saying this person is a Capricorn. I don't know what sign this person could possibly be. But I see, it's, I see it as somebody that you guys are drawn to. And it may be a surprise how you're drawn to this person. I think this is beautiful, Capricorn. Let's pull out two more cards. Actually, let's pull out some Oracle cards. Oracle. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. What was that? Stand your ground. Know, know to stand your ground when, when you're feeling pushed in a corner or somebody's making you uncomfortable. That's Seven of Wands in Tarot. Ooh. I need one more card. Ooh, yes. Awareness. I'm going to say trust your intuition with this awareness card. Pay attention. Pay attention. Holy cow. One in seven. One in seven. And then I have one seven. <laughs> Look up 1717, but have hope no matter what, have hope, trust the universe. This is like the sun card. This is having hope, knowing your happiness is in your hands. Your happiness is in your hands. And trust the universe, expect positive things. Expect positive things. That's what I have for you Capricorn. I think this is so beautiful. I think it's so beautiful. And that's what I have for you. I, I love you guys and I appreciate you watching and giving me your valuable time. Thank you for sharing and subscribing. Don't forget to like the video. Love you guys. Bye.